Okay, I think we will start. Uh, we are happy today to be with you and uh, share our experience with Drupal. Uh, we will be fast because I know all of you want to see in which city DrupalCon will happen next year. Uh, so today we will share our experience on uh, paragraph, layout paragraph, and paragraph sets modules. We, we are improve our user experience with those modules and we, you will have a quick demo about it. Uh, my name is Pierrick Cadet. I'm working with Drupal since uh, 2009. I've known Drupal since uh, version 6, and we see a lot of evolving on it. Uh, I will let my colleagues introduce themselves. Hi, everyone. I'm Xavier Tarnesian. I'm a front-end developer uh, at OVH Cloud for uh, six years now. So some word about uh, OVH Cloud. Uh, OVH Cloud is a cloud solution provider, so all of you know uh, Amazon, Microsoft, but we are, I think, a major cloud solution in Europe. We have many data centers, and of course our main solution are dedicated server, public cloud, private cloud, and some, uh, some tools like VMware and more. So what is Drupal history at OVH Cloud? So before 2018, we were building all the pages manually based on XSLT. Just imagine the burden on it. Then we moved to Drupal one, uh, in 2018, and we enjoy like features like translations, entity reference, media library, you know all of it. And one year later, all our public websites were built on Drupal, our corporate brand, uh, website, event website, and sub-branding like uh, Kim Sufi, so you start, Echo. How we are working? Uh, all of you are using Field UI, field UI to, to build their contents. So this is one of our product page. Like you see, there is a lot of fields, and there are some advantages about it. Like, you, the developers know how to handle it. You can do formatters on fields, you can do preprocess, it's easy to integrate, and you can manage specific features by it. But the drawbacks is after five years, each time we receive a request from our product owner, we end up with 67 content types. So when you arrive on, the, on the, our Drupal, you don't know which templates you should use to build a page. And just imagine for developers also to maintain all those content types. So what, are, what was our needs? We wanted something really to use. We wanted something with a lot of customization, uh, something that all our employees without knowledge about uh, Drupal can use. Of course, we have a design system, we, we wanted to plug it. And one important point is we wanted our, de our developers to waste less time on integrating content and more time on developing features, like uh, product features, for example. We tried many things in the community, like uh, Layout Builder. We made our Help Center website on uh, Layout Builder. We tried paragraphs for our corporate website. Uh, we tried also Bricks, which is the same thing almost as a paragraph, but reusable. And of course, uh, the well-known uh, Gutenberg. But we decided to keep our uh, knowledge and uh, competencies on paragraph because uh, our employees on our corporate website really like it. The feature was really nice, but something was missing. And we tried layout paragraph. So for those who went at uh, DrupalCon in Pra uh, last year, uh, Justin from Alton, the maintainer of the module, made a, made a really good presentation of the module out of the box. So layout paragraph bring you uh, layout in two uh, paragraphs. So you can build some paragraph which are using layout and in introduce some paragraph in those layout. Uh, you will have the drag and drop features out of the box, which is really nice. And the page really looks what uh, it, it will be seen on the front office. But 
like I said, we had 67 content types and we wanted to, to produce pages really faster. So we added paragraph set. So for those who know, paragraph set is a module that allows you to configure with YAML some templates of page by defining uh, which page will have uh, uh, any kind of paragraph, of, uh, of paragraph type and you will be able to configure some data, default data inside. Uh, we added some preview, some shortcut like alignments, uh, one click component. For example, if you have a component which doesn't need configuration, you don't want to open a form, edit the component, edit some settings, you just want to insert the component easily and fastly. And of course, some customization by language. We made some custom OVH cloud features, I will say OVH because it's really related to our design system, uh, like contrasted features, but it's not, it's not the point. Uh, so let's see a demo. Um, mm. Bad luck, it doesn't work with the duplicate screen. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so how it works here, uh, the user have two possibilities. You can select an existing full page template or can, can create his own uh, from scratch. Here you have access to a bunch of components such uh, overview, sliders, testimonials, and there are some product cards components and some uh, navigations components. Some components can have uh, different uh, style. So uh, for the demo, let's try to create a new uh, Okay, so for this, let's just add here a new layout section with the do-it-yourself component. Layout section have two columns. Here we have some custom style design. For the demo, let's set a blue gradient. Can save it. The first column, let's add a text component. Let's add a title and a description. We have some custom font size style here. In the second column, we can add a media. Let's pick this one. We also add some short cuts to handle the vertical and horizontal alignment. Now our component is ready to save. Let's save it. Okay, so it's it's quite time consuming to do that, so let's convert it to a paragraph set. Let's set titles, categories, let's save it. Here we can go to the configurations of the paragraph sets, we can change the categories. Add the preview files. <coughs> Here is the, you have the complete uh, configurations of the component we've created. All is still fully editable. Save it. Now we just have to go to the paragraph type section. Find our overview component. Edit it. Here in the behavior sections, we have the Paragraph set enable here. So let's find our Drupal con overviews. Let's save the paragraph set. Yeah. 
And now when the user creates uh, his page from scratch in the overview section, he has access to the new Drupal can overview here and can add it with one click while it's still fully editable. To complete the page, you can, for example, add some product cards component. As I said, the layout is still editable. So you can change the layout and add a fifth column. Instead of creating by our own the second column, we can duplicate this one and drag and drop here. Okay, that's it for the from scratch parts. Let's see how it works with full template page. So here you have a lot of templates, strictly different, with different theme, with different components and different theme. For the demo, let's pick this one, and in one click, all the components have been added to the page, so users don't have to focus about the design or the structure of the page, you just have to focus on the content. And if you save the page, voila, a full page created within one minute and the user just have to change the content, image, and entity refs. Our solution is not perfect, so I will let Pierrick talk about it. So, the solution is not perfect. Uh, like you see, <coughs> when you create a page, you will had sometimes a lot of components. And we, I will give you an example. Uh, a component that we'll see in every design system is a divider component. So sometimes Webmaster wants to add some space between components, so they use a divider. And you can be surprised, like uh, sometimes in one section, we, for, in our case, we discover 20 dividers next to each other because they wanted the first column to be empty, but still have the space on the screen. So the, they have made some little tricks. And the bite point about it is a divider is a paragraph, so you will have 20 paragraphs created in your database. Uh, in our case, we have uh, 22 languages in Drupal. We are using content moderation. So when we say 20 paragraphs, it will be 20 uh, multiplied by 22 language multiplied by each revision that has so it's really a mess. Uh, but you have a way to, to fix it. Like uh, you can, uh, of course, limit the paragraph inside a, a section. So if you don't want to allow some kind of paragraph, it's possible. And the last point is, of course, translation. Uh, I've been working on Drupal since, <laughs> like I said, 2009. And translation is always a bit difficult to handle. And when using paragraph, what is difficult is uh, the synchronous paragraph between translations. So if you need especially localization between uh, languages, like there's a section you don't want to display from, uh, uh, from Germany, for example, and be displayed in France, you will have to use some tricks. Like in our case, we develop a behavior in paragraph to disable some uh, components on some languages or we can use some entity reference uh, contents in the, those part. But it's a mess. <laughs> and that's it. So don't forget the contribution day tomorrow. It will be the last day and last opportunities uh, during this week. And thank you for all. <laughs>